Hello! Right, this shall be a vlog from the shed, of all places. Um, I warn you now, uh, if you have come here looking for a, a well-constructed, professionally edited video, then um, you're in the wrong place. Uh, this is it's just going to be a catch-up on what's happened, what's coming up, and, um, and you get to look at my dog stretching in the background as well. I have a dog. I have 66,000 subscribers on YouTube. 65,999 are here for the dog. The other one is is my account. Um so that's just how it works. Uh now I do have I do have things. I have things. I have a list of things here that uh, I have to mention. Um these are the things that have been going through my head since the last time I did a vlog. Uh if you are a member of my Facebook group then unfortunately You'll have heard all this before, um, because these are the things that I usually just end up whittering on about as the day goes on in my Facebook group. Uh, I, so I humbly apologise if um, you've heard all this before. So um, I should take all these things and I should um, break them down into categories and and you kind of, it's not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. Uh, this is just going to be a... Uh, a ramble, as usual. Uh, so I, I, I have no, I've no, I've no coffee left, and then I can't put my phone in silent because my good lady is out and about. And yes, right. We're going to start off with some amazing, amazing news. Um, I think the last time I did a vlog, um, I have mentioned this. So there was a guy called Dom. Um, who's in my Facebook group, who contacted me and said I have a, a Black Rose uh, UK edition from 2015. Um, it's not working. It's broken. Um, I'm not doing anything with it. It's lying in a drawer. Do you want it? So I said, okay, I'll take it. The plan was that uh, I figured I could just throw in a new, I think it was a DNA 30, possibly 40, uh, I could fix the board. I could put in a new one, and um, and then I was. I'm going to hang on. <laughs> and then I was going to put it in with this. This is the Black Rose number one RDA. Let's put the two together, do another charity raffle, and raise some money for charity. Um. So I put a shout out uh, up in my Facebook group, and uh, ended up saying. Uh, I'm an idiot. Um, is there anybody that can actually upgrade this for or, or refurbish this for me? Because, um, yes. What was that? Was that his tennis ball? Oh. Um, and Milo um, from Tech Division um, stepped up and he said, send me the, the mod and uh, I'll refurb it for you. And <laughs> so this, this is now, uh, it just arrived about an hour ago. Um, this is now a, a DNA 60. This is now a DNA 60. It, it does have a little ding here. I mean, this is second hand. I mean, this is an old mod, um, but it's, it's now been upgraded to a DNA 60. Uh, he did a custom uh, 3D printed sled inside. Uh, the internals are Perfect. What a stunning job he's done. Really, what a stunning job he's done. Uh, he's upgraded the 510. It's now a spring-loaded 510. And this is bang up to date. This is a, a mod from 2015 that um, is, is perfect. It's not perfect. The internals are perfect. The 510's perfect. Um, I mean, there's a little crack in the resin. And there's that little ding on the side, but this should last another five years, no problem at all. Uh, so there will be a charity raffle coming up. I don't know if it'll be this month. It will either be this month or next month. Um, so Milo and Dom, uh, two excellent, excellent guys who have... Um, 
thank you so so much. I'm really chuffed. I really am. Um, and and this is just yes. Depending where you are in the vape scene or the vape community or where you hang about, um, it's it's not all drama, bullshit, and people stabbing one another in the back. Uh, if you hang around with like-minded people, you're on to a winner. You really are. There, there's just some really, really good people out there. Um, so that's that off the list. I can take that off. Um, I do want to do a little shout out. Um, this is a shout out for um, my my. No, I can't say that. I can't say that. I, can't, I was going to say my fellow cripple, uh, but I can't. That would be rude. Uh, Peter at uh, PC Coils, um, who's get well soon. Um, he sent me on. If you don't know, um, I. Ugh, these are my benchmark coils. Uh, so basically. Every atty that comes in, uh, I always use the same coils. Uh, it's my benchmark. Uh, so I use the same juice and the same coils. And uh, I used to always wrap them myself and so on. And people laughed at me. So Peter started up his own business, PC Coils. And he said, I'll tell you what, I'll make you lots of them. I was going to swear there. And uh, save you some time. So that's what I've been using. But then he's trying to convert me onto uh, fancy coils. Because he knows that I'm a dinosaur. So I have some Benchmark V2 coils. So uh, no, that's a dog, and that's that's them. This is them here. So they've got these. He's updated his labels as well. So these are the. I still use my simple round wire ones, but uh, I've got Benchmark Fuse Clapton's 0.42 three mil ID full NI80, and they've got their their new fancy labels going on as well. So Peter and gang. Peter and gang, Peter and my, and clogs, shall we say, Peter and clogs. Uh, thank you so, so much for sending these on. And yes, I've already gone through a few of them because I had some sample ones a while back. Uh, so well chuffed with them. Uh, in other news, so I'm just working my way through a list here. Uh, I think you might remember if you were awake, um, I bought a, a crit box, a DNA 60 second hand squonker. I bought it from a guy, um, I'm sure Gleeb's in Russia. Um, but I think he is, I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, and then I was on one of the, the second hand sales pages uh, that are one of the few that are left in Facebook. Um, UK squonkers, you have to be a member of the main group for a certain amount of time before you get in the sales group. That's the way the most of these ones work. Um, and I saw that Gleep actually had a, another crit box up for sale. Um, so I, I ended up, um, this is probably going to be covered in lip gunk, and uh, so I apologize. Uh, I bought another crit box from him. This is a, a DNA 75C. Yes, I'm vaping at 40 watts. Don't tell anybody. Uh, I have a reputation to uphold. Um, Little squonker, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've got my Skyfall in there uh, with a KHW uh, drip tip, and that's that's the drip tip you get with the dwarves direct lungs, and um, it's brilliant. Second hand, will I go off in one? Will I say this one? Yeah, if if you can, it is worth joining some of these groups, um, like. SV um, and uh, UK Squonkers and, and groups like that and, and joining in uh, the banter, doing your time, getting into the sales group and, and looking for some bargains. This, this cost me £150. Uh, Stabwood DNA 75C. Uh, the, the retail on this must be near €500, Euros possibly. Um, and it's brilliant. It's absolutely... I'm Scottish. We're tight by nature. We love bargains. Um, I don't need this. I don't need this. I have plenty of devices, but I couldn't resist the bargain, and it's a very, very well-made mod. And I do... 
I do love my Skyfall. I, I always do. I, I'm, I'm surprised how airy it is, fully open. It always catches me off guard because a lot of the stuff I'm vaping just now is restricted direct lung or mouth to lung. And I forgot with the biggest discs, not discs, inserts, if you forget what uh, Vasily calls them. Um, it's really eerie. But uh, yes, another secondhand bargain. Speaking of secondhand bargains, um, <laughs> hang on, I've done my back in again, I apologise. Sciatica sucks, it really does. I've not had it in years, uh, but it's it's come back with a vengeance for some reason. Uh, I'll just give, just give this a little clean, a little wipe down here. Um, here we go. So, uh, I'm sure I've mentioned this before. The, my Facebook group has a subgroup uh, called The Yard. Uh, and basically people put up mods that they're no longer using um, and, they, they, and they go up for sale. Uh, but the, the money that is makes uh, goes directly to my charities that I run um, or support. I don't run them, I support them. Um, so, uh, <laughs> hopefully this shows up. I've got one back again. I've got one back. Um, a Stig Helix. Oh God, it needs a new, a really good clean. I did go over it with the buffer. That's what that black stuff is there. That's from when I put it around the buffer. Uh, this is an old DNA 30 side by side. Um, these were the, the dog's danglies back in the day. Um, and this is, it, it weighs an absolute ton. It's a DNA uh, 30, it's a 26650 battery. Um, and it's, I've had two before. Um, and and then it's brilliant having one back. Um, I, I'm sorely tempted to see about getting this upgraded uh, to a DNA 60. I think I will do it myself. Um, it's got a very simple carrier system in here that I'll be able to tweak. Um, but yeah, uh, Peter Edwards, thank you. I, I, I got this for a, 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 a bargain, a complete bargain, and, and the money went to a very good cause. Um, but yeah, it, it's good to have, I love old shit. A lot of, that's the thing, I mean, vaping's got to this point now, we've been going for that long now that um, I think a lot of people are realising that what we had a few years back, remember, it's all about putting power. I mean, that's all uh, the, the, uh, the mod is, is just it's putting the power from your battery to your 510. That's all it's doing. Um, and a lot of the mods that were made years ago were very, very nice and were built extremely well. And, and there's no reason why you can't pick these up cheapish get them refurbed if you want and, and continue using them because they're cla I mean the Stig Helix the these are classics they really are classics uh, so so happy Todd happy Todd in that one um this list uh, it's I, I think that I've got lots to talk about but as I'm rubbing things off this list I'm thinking I've not really I've not got much of anything um <clears throat> Other, there, there will be, and I, I think I mentioned this in my charity raffle that we just finished, which raised a £2,600, which is brilliant. Uh, the next one is Young Victor. Uh, young Victor um, from Vulcan uh, is sending on a Seduce uh, DNA 60. Uh, that will be going up for a charity raffle. He's such, yeah. Um, that will be going up, and I will be putting a Haku Vena in with it. And I also have um, Scott from uh, Vaping in Style, which is a Facebook group, also sent on uh, a brand new. This is mine. This is this is uh, Scott sent me on this, uh, but uh, the zombie the ZKM. 
Uh, it's a, a custom top cap, drip tip and beauty ring for the Vena. Uh, so Scott, thank you for sending that on. I'll put in the Atty and uh, and we'll have the Seduce as well to go in. So so the next two months for the charity raffle stuff is, 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 is going to be brilliant. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, am I doing this right? I hope so. Um, you still here? It's, it doesn't look very perfect. You don't see them doing this on uh, BBC News when they're going through their rubbing stuff off the teleprompter. But that's what you get for £1.23. Um, that one, admit, I've written this down as mentioning it. I don't... Yes. No. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to mention it. Um, I'm, 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 no, I'm not. Because it's... It's... Yes, I will. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> what a dick. Um, Elemental Mods. Anthony, the Elemental Mods. The big potato muncher that he is. Um, makes beautiful, beautiful mods. Um... Short and sweet version, I'll do this in a nutshell, is that um, uh, there was a, a hiccup with a, a device that I won in, um, well over a year ago. Um, basically, there was communication issues in, in getting said mod, um, and I, I basically ended up speaking up about it publicly in my Facebook group, um, which... I didn't like doing because the problem was that I actually really, really like Anthony a lot. Um, his mods are gorgeous. His work's really good. His communication skills suck balls. <laughs> they really do. Or maybe it's just because he hates Scottish guys and sheds. I wouldn't blame him. Anyway, um, so I, I, I basically went public with that and uh, said that I'd been waiting over a year, blah, 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 blah. Um apologized um and my my only my only uh, thing that i wanted from it was i didn't want my raffle money back i didn't want the mod i wasn't bothered about that i just wanted to, to make sure that uh, he promised that he would sort out his communication skills <laughs> and that was it uh, uh and but what he did do was he donated several hundred pounds worth of money um several hundred pounds towards um mind which is a mental health charity that I donate to, and and he put in a few hundred pounds as a way of an apology, which I cannot thank him enough for. Uh, I cannot thank him enough for. Um, so there you go. We we all the, the moral of the story is we all screw up, we all make mistakes, uh, but the the one thing you should always do is keep talking. Is keep talking. Communication is key. It really is. Uh, never go radio silent. Never. No matter how bad things get. Let people know what's going on. Um, yes. I need a vape. Um, Delro. Uh, a little bit of... With some... What have I got in here? Uh, that is lemon crack. Uh, and I'm using the, the, the vape snail in there as well. Which is... A tremendous bit of gear. Oh, that's not on my list. Ah, oh, damn, that's not on my list. Um, there is... I'm going to have to go looking for this now. I, I really apologise. Um, I wanted to mention the... Um, Haku. Haku Engineering. Um, there we go. Right. Um, young Stephen. Young Stephen. Um, has uh, has got a new toy on the way. It's got a new toy. Look at this. So it's going to be a borrow tank specifically designed for uh, Zeta owners. Now I'm I'm, I'm really hoping um, that what it means is that uh, we're going to be able to access the deck on our uh, Zeta in a borrow tank, but leave the juice in. That's that's the main thing. I, I really, if he, I mean, there's it's kind of some of this 
spiel here is is I don't actually. Yeah, it's it's kind of strange English. Uh, it's almost like Chinglish, but um, I'm just hoping. Yes, I'm, I'm hoping. See, he's got the deck out here, and that's what I'm hoping is that we can pull the deck out and leave the juice in. Uh, and if we can do that, then I think that will be a great thing for Zeta owners because I love my Zetas. I really do. Uh, I use them a lot. I use my Zetas in my arches from Limelight. Um, I'll be honest, since the vape snail, uh, that the snail arrived from uh, at Mizzou, that's all I've used in my Delro because accessing the deck is so, so easy and it leaves the juice in. It just saves you so much hassle. But uh, yeah, so, th so there we got a new thing coming from Haku Engineering. Um, put that away. Can't believe I forgot about that. Um, one thing I will mention. Where is it? Um, grab a picture. There's a picture. Screen share. Um, young Chris over at Squape. Uh, they have got new tanks out for the Enduro. So we've got Nanos, Midis and Maxis. Uh, we have PSU, uh, PSU tanks and we have Ultim tanks. Uh, now I've actually got, uh, they did send on this. Uh, so I've, I've actually got quite a few tanks for the Enduro. Uh, so this is the, the PSU 5mm version and it's, it's no, I mean, I did not my best of, but my, my favourites kind of stuff. Uh, things that I really liked. And um, the Enduro is, for that year that it came out, was possibly my favourite tank that year. Uh, and, and I still use mine regularly and it's, it's, it's very good. So if you have an Enduro, there are other tank options available. Um, and thank you, Chris. Uh, even though he only sent on a very, very small amount of chocolate, I'm still mentioning it here and letting you know about it. Uh, <laughs> this is actually a good exercise for my back. Hang on. I've got other stuff here. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I showed you these before, but um, there's, there's going to be... Hang on, I'm just going to line these up. Here we go. Right. Um, young Ross, Ross Patterson. Uh, once again, he's in my Facebook group. Um, he did do these before, but these are his updated versions. Uh, for people like me that have suffered from fat fingers syndrome. Um, uh, basically. They're just little 3D printed doodads um, that... Um, Those of you that have got um, mod dog tubes, uh, mod maker tubes, and things like that, uh, batteries, uh, it just means rather than you know trying to get your fat fingers into the battery cap on the tube, you can just use one of these. Just pop it on and spin, and it just makes it so much easier. Um, they're really, really, they're great. They're great little tools. Um, I don't know if. Uh, I don't know how Ross is working it, how he's doing it business-wise or anything like that, but um, uh, we will be doing a, a group buy in my Facebook page. A group, uh, I think it's going to be about £11 for a full set, and a pound of that shall go to one of our group charities, which, thank you very much, Ross. But uh, that will be coming along soon. Um, they are very handy. Uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, a lot of these battery tubes, you can still use your fat fingers and get the caps off eventually it, it's just an aid it's just a tool uh, but but that's that um how long have we been going for 24 minutes i need to talk slower or look out a window more things like that think just to stretch these things out rather than just rattling them off we'll keep going uh this arrived. Should actually screw it in. For those of you that are interested, um, this thing. This is actually the Azus. Azus 
thing from Geek Vape. Is it the X? No, it's not the X. Christ, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, flag, please write it on. Please, no, it's just got Geek Vape and Zeus written on it. It's mesh. It's mesh instead of... It, it's very much like the profile deck. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still use the tank. I think the tank is interchangeable with the previous Zeus. Um, but yeah, it, it's mesh. And uh, I've said this about mesh before. Um, I can get excellent flavour from this tank. I get so much vapour from this. Uh, but I'm at 40 watts right now. it's you have to bump the wattage up uh for me i mean i my preferred way of vaping for me is, is just simple 0 0.4 ohm coils um at 25 possibly to 30 watts that's how i vape um even at 40 watts with mesh i, I even though the the flavor is there there's just the, there's a lack of warmth in my vape i have to crank this up uh, to this one to about 50 60 watts to get any warmth out of it i end up getting tons and tons of vapor loads of flavor but it's just the juice just goes zoom, like that it's, it's it's frightening it's terrifying how much juice these things use um and i'm not i'm not a doctor i'm not a doctor uh, but I, I firmly believe in th moderation. You know, things should be more. I mean, obviously, I eat too many pies. So I, I, I know that I suffer from certain things because I eat too many pies. Um, but it's like vaping. If you're going to go through like 20, 30 mil of juice a day, not a doctor. I'm not creating scaremongering. I'm not doing scaremongering or anything like that. But in my head, it just doesn't seem right. It just doesn't seem right to me. But anyway, that's that's my outlook on it. Um, it is top airflow, which is a big positive uh, because, yes, there, there's no leaking. There's no leaking. Uh, right. Other things that we could mention. Um, was a reviewer in the UK this week who had his uh, YouTube account terminated um and is pff, gone that's it he got his third strike terminated gone channels gone the lot um now off the back of that there is oh, oh, lots of people shouting screaming drama about how uh, vape reviews and all this kind of stuff will die and go away doom gloom and uh, uh, yes that's it we're screwed um I, I possibly have the wrong mindset for this kind of gear, but uh, que sera, sera and all that jazz, you know, it's if, if whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Uh, I personally am not worried in the slightest, uh, but um, Jesus, it's, 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 all, it's all going off here. Sorry. Uh, I'm not personally bothered. Um because I would just continue doing what I'm doing here on my Facebook page and I would do videos somewhere else. Uh, but, um, yeah. This always happens. Something happens to a couple of people in, in YouTube land or reviewer land and then suddenly everybody else starts panicking and we have to go and join this or we have to go and do that. And then everything just carries on as it was before. Um, so I try and avoid the stress. I don't worry about it. Um, I, I'm a firm believer if you're going to stick your head above the parapets and shout look at me all the time then yes you're going to be the one that gets shot first so karma and all that jazz moving on uh, go to look at some mods um, one thing I will mention is yes blackberry smoke I, I do like blackberry smoke. Yeah, it's not my usual. I mean, the, the, you know, I've got like um, 
the the primal scream. All my vinyl is like old old vinyl from things that I used to listen to back in the day. But Blackberry Smoke was a present from a very very nice man, uh, and, and and really enjoying it. And what was the other band? Ah, uh, cuz uh, Steve uh, got me listening to this other band that really annoyed me. This is music that I thought I would never listen to in all my days, but um, where's, where's it gone? Um, up, 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 uh, Todd's Tunes. I'm just looking for my playlist. The Cadillac 3. Brilliant band as well. Uh, it's, it's so strange. Um, I'm just listening to more and more stuff. Uh, I watched a really good um, classic. Was it, was it BBC Four or something like that? Going on about classic albums. It was Carly Simon last night. Brilliant to watch. Anyway, God, I've turned into my dad. Oh, so screwed. Um, as long as I don't start climbing mountains and doing Sudoku all day, I'll be okay. Sorry, Dad. Uh, right, um, moving on. Uh, I'm going to show you some mods, uh, that things that are kind of... Just things that I've come across, uh, things that I, I, I want to share with you. Uh, first one being, if I do this, uh, I, I don't know if you remember, um, Tippy Mods, uh, my, another little, uh, my, another little uh, fine Irish man, um, Aidan, well, he's uh, been busying away. He's working on a, a new mod and where's the is it the Pixis? I don't know <coughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it properly. Um it's basically a smaller version of the, the Vela and I did a review for the Vela. Um but he's he's been cracking away at this. It's a DNA sixty. He's he's got USB in it. He's he's had uh challenges shall we say and and getting the usb set up and all the rest of it but he's persevered with it and i tip my hat to him uh i i put my name down for one uh, i chose a block and um yeah it's going to look something like that and he's also trying out wooden tubes as well which i'm really happy about because it's it's something i'm a bit of a fat I like stainless steel tubes and, and all that. Don't get me wrong, they're great. But when you are, you know, you've got a hybrid block like this, um, that matchy matchy with the wood makes me very very happy. So, uh, yeah, that will be appearing here at some point in time. Um, it just depends because obviously he has to. Um, <sighs> No, I'm not doing it. I was going to go for the whole caravan, potatoes and dags. Do you like dags? But uh, no, I'll resist that. We'll move on. Um, somebody else that is uh, working away. Uh, we have um, Northern Dream Pipe Mods, Mel. So, uh, the Ark. No, not the Ark. Oh, shit, I forgot the Eon. Was it the Eon? I've forgotten the name of it. What was the mod that I bought? I bought it and I did a review for it. His last mod, the Eon, DNA sixty. Well, he's he's working on this. This is basically going to be a, a MOSFET. It's kind of got the same lines as the Eon, and it's got a bit of the arc in there as well. He's squonker. MOSFET, single eighteen six fifty again, I think. So, it's quite similar to his last mod, but it's it's a bit smaller. And obviously a MOSFET. So uh, yeah, that's Northern Dream Pipe Mods from Mel. That's another one to look out for that shall be hopefully coming soon. Uh, another one is, and I think I mentioned this one before, was If Mods in France. Uh, I don't know why I'm what I'm actually on. I'm, I'm on the wrong screen. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. Can't uh, get rid of that. I meant to go on this side and scroll this up. Yeah. He's doing 
some really beautiful mods and 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 hopefully i'm getting one of these in for a review um it's tiny it's absolutely tiny i mean that's a credit card there um so if mods out of france he also does these you can get them engraved as well and will i go and find this for you just to show you because the engraved versions are stunning absolutely stunning it actually put some photos up showing the engraving getting done look at this this is all hand engraved i mean this is actually going to cost you i think depending on the engraving and the hours that go into it it can cost you up to anything like two thousand uh euros to get this done because of the time involved um i i actually can't afford to get that done so i'll be getting the the non i was going to say the unengraved is that right that'll be right non-engraved um version uh for review but uh yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice if I. Could. Yeah, it would have been bloody amazing to get the engraved version. But uh, yeah, I can't afford that. So th there we go. That's if mods, I if. Um. What else did I have to show you? Did I tell you about this one? I think I did. Possibly. Uh, half skull mods. When I did the review, um. I did mention that they did a titanium version and they also did 21700 versions. Well, um, I have a 21700 titanium on the way and it's been uh, heated. You know, this blue tinge that you see here, this is uh, done through heat and, uh, and this is on the way. Uh, so there will be a review for this coming up at some point also. Uh, that's half skull mods. Um, so sorry about the phone going. It's it's the boss. It's the boss. Uh, I've got one la. Actually, I'm going to go. I'm going. Uh, no, yes, one last one to show you, and it's this one. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm so chuffed for 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 Tim. I really am. Um, this is a uh, born in the man cave. Um, there we go. Uh, Born in the Man Cave, the Callan. I think it's Callan. Um, I don't know if you remember, Tim. I keep one of these little squonkers here. Um, this is one of these little three D printed squonkers, uh, because the design was really really clever. Uh, it's very easy for me to throw a battery in and just squonk. And so sorry. It's just easy for me to squonk, fire away, and go for it. Um, He's, he's he's stepping up his game. I, th this is a, a huge leap from his 3D printed stuff, but uh, from the photos I've seen and the work that he's putting into it, I mean, this is a CA finish that he's got on here. I'm pretty sure it's a MOSFET, a ClickFET, and a mod maker um, board and uh, 510. He, he's, it's, it's just something... It's nice to see people doing well. Uh, uh, you, you, some people aren't like that. Some people like to see people fail. Uh, I'm really happy to see him, this progression. And I've seen this with lots of mod makers over the years. Uh, their vaping journey, coming from making just a little wooden box, possibly, uh, to be make, becoming big leagues. Um, and I really wish him all the best with this. I really do. Um... And I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost done. Uh, other things to mention. Tippy Moz half skull. I've got that. Oh, um, I did mention that I was working with. When I say working with, uh, yes, I am working with um, a, a, a mod company uh, to manufacture an RTA. Um, Hopefully the prototype will be here in the next three weeks. 
Um, it's it's going off for man. It's getting manufactured. Uh, so, yeah, it's looking really good. Uh, I've got. I must admit, it's looking really good. Uh, I think it is. I think it is. Um, pretty excited. Pretty excited. But uh, we'll we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Um, I don't know if I'll show you the. Pro I don't know if I'll show you the prototype. I have to speak to the company. Um, because, yeah, I don't know how they'll feel about that. I obviously want to share as much as I can with you because that's that's just I love that kind of stuff, um, and and you, and and that's the thing. It's kind of now uh, how can I put this? I'm in a position where, and this is what I love about my my Facebook group and uh, and communicating with you guys via email and all that kind of stuff is getting your input and stuff is um, is great. Why wouldn't you listen to people? Why wouldn't you listen to everybody um, and get their input on stuff? I mean, you get you, that's the thing. I, sometimes you get so close to something, you can't see the wood for the trees and all that kind of thing. You get kind of blinkered and you think it's the best thing ever. And sometimes it takes people from outside to, to just look at it and go, no, that's terrible. That's a bad idea. You don't have to listen to them. But um, yeah, sometimes it's good having an outside opinion. Yeah, I'm talking too much. Yeah, talking too much. I need another vape. I need a furious vape. I never sit. No. Right. Um, other things I can mention. Uh, that's about it. Um, what else has been happening? Not a lot. Um, Kind of restricted in what I can do just now because of my back. Um, been watching a lot of crap on the telly, listening to a lot of music. What we've been watching, uh, watched season three of Castlevania. Uh, I binged that. Um, it might actually be what's wrong with my back is sitting in my ass too long and not doing anything. Possibly, I need to start moving more. Um, so Castlevania was really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, Picard. God, it's terrible. Oh, it's just one of these things. I mean, we're, what, seventh or eighth episode now, and I keep watching it just going, oh, please get better, please get better. But no, it just it's just terrible. It's terrible. And there's um, somebody that grew up with uh, Star Trek, um it's just it's painful it's painful to watch um and and that's about it and for some reason i don't know why i ended up watching um i'm not a huge fan of the the, the whole uh, marvel universe type stuff and so on i'm not a massive fan um but i watched the captain america films so captain america winter soldier civil war and I forgot, I forgot how good Winter Soldier is. What a great film. It really is good. I thoroughly enjoy, I enjoyed it a lot more watching it this time than I did the first time. So, there. And then I ended up doing the whole Infinity War again. And, oh, God. I, don't, that, I wonder where my week's gone. I've been watching Shite Deli. Uh, other things. Um, what else? Oh, yes. I, I did buy a, a watch kit again. I don't know how many I've got to replace all the batteries in my watches. I've got a whole, I've got lots of mechanical watches or automatic, and I've got a lot of battery watches. Uh, so I bought a kit off of Amazon for just taking the back off. And, and I've been doing that. Very therapeutic, very therapeutic. Um, this actually takes me on to something else. Now I am allowed to mention this I am sure I am allowed to mention this. Um, oh yes, I'm sure I am. I spoke about I spoke about this with Gus. Uh, uh, the, the, there's a guy uh, a, 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 a Alpha Bravo A B mods. Um, a guy called Gus, and uh, I've been talking to Gus for a wee bit now, and he is sending on uh, a prototype for. An RDA he is working on, um, 
and I'm going to be testing it for them and putting it through the paces. It's just a prototype. Um, I'll not be showing the deck off. I'll possibly, in my Facebook group and so on, I'll show the exterior off and let... I'll see what it's vaping like. Um, so so that's, that's coming on. I'll give you a look at it. Obviously, once again, not the deck. The thing is, and that's where kind of the watch thing comes in, Gus is kind of like a watchmaker, um, and he's shown me some of the stuff he works on, which just blows my mind. His attention to detail is incredible. So I, I'm I'm kind of excited about this one because it's, it's just because of his attention to detail, and I've seen some deck shots and the machining and so on on it, and he's got very very high standards. So yes. A, B mods, Alpha Bravo mods. Um, go and check them out. You'll be able to get more information in the Facebook group. I think it's open. Hang on. No. <laughs> ah, shite. <laughs> I hate Facebook sometimes. I really do. Um, I, I, am a, I love Facebook groups for mod makers. There's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons to it. I know how frustrating it is for people, how angry they get when they say, well, I want to buy one of these things. I'm going to go and join the Facebook group. Here's my money, give me your product. And they can't even find it because it's hidden or they need four or five vouches or hand over your seventh born and your dog and all this kind of stuff. I, I get why it's so annoying. I really do. Uh, but... Yeah, that's just one of these things. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go. Uh, I really need another cup of coffee. And uh, I'm going to have another quick vape. Are you getting up today? Are you getting up? TJ? Are you just going to lie there all day? You want to come out? Are you coming? I better take him out now. I need the exercise and so does he. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, there will be... Oh, the Avatar. The Avatar is going to be here on Monday. Um, very excited about that. I've seen... Yeah, there's a story to this as well. Uh, I'm being wound up. Uh, I'm being wound up in this one. But yes, the Avatar um, by Amber Mods. That'll be here Monday. I'll have a look at that. Um, and uh, as far as other reviews go, it's going to be very slow. Uh, I've shown you some of the stuff that's coming. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Thank you once again to the people that have given me stuff for the charity raffles. Uh, you are superstars. Right. Bye for now. <laughs>